Good morning, folks. Welcome along to the vlog, the vlog. Friday morning. It's absolutely miserable outside. I was going to say pitch black. It's not pitch black. It's overcast and it's really quite dark. And it just feels one of those meh days. You know what I mean? So let's see if we can perk ourselves up with brewing a little bit of beer. Welcome to my orifice. Oh, sailor. I'll try my very best not to give away my passwords today, which is what I normally do. Turn the printer on. So we need to produce some beer today. And we're going to go into tank four. Can you see? Can you see that? So uh, this is the BMS system, brewing management system. We go on to brew management here, and we go on to tank four. So tank one, two, and three have all got beers in them, but they are these two are a uh, obviously new beer, the Nipa and the Blueberry. So they'll go on after they have fermented. Then I can put the correct numbers in in in, in terms of beer duty values but on this occasion we're going to record a clean for tank 4 full clean routine and we'll say today and we'll say moi we'll get the ingredients for it so we can keep track of our ingrediente and then we're going to produce well today what are we going to produce in fact we're going to put a vacant into that tank Oh yes we are. So we're going to get the standard values for the vacant. Select myself as the brewer. And create the brew. Yes I do want to print a production record. Thank you very much. So there we go. Not the earliest of starts. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I am here at quarter past ten. And just starting the mashing. I'll be finished for three, four o'clock though, so no problems there. And uh, then I'm gonna go and have a few beverages tonight, so you may find this vlog either gets silly or ends suddenly. One of the two. Anyway, one more piece of paper to come out of the printing machine, and then we'll be downstairs I'm mashing in. Oh, two pieces then. Okay, you don't need to wait for that. All right, we're getting mashed in. At the moment, I'm just draining the caustic out of the plate chiller and the uh, boil kettle. So we just run it through, just like this. A little update on the hand from yesterday. No blisters. Slightly swollen, but. Uh, I don't even think it's a first degree burn. I've, I've kind of dodged a bullet there. It's a little bit dry and a bit stingy in comparison to the other hand, which is pale. So yeah, I'm a lucky boy. Very lucky boy, could have been nasty. So there's the mash, there's the mixer. I can't really mix it while I'm holding the camera. Um, and the tripod is nowhere to be seen so we'll just come back when we've mashed in I guess you know then I've got to just finish off cleaning this from yesterday put it all away find somewhere for all of this beer to live so there's that this is stuff that's going to a good home this is bitter that needs labeling and then yeah we've got can stock around here so three pallets of cans, also a pallet of Pilsner. All needs tidying up. Well, we're looking for 66 degrees. I think that's good enough 
for the girls I go out with. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We're good. So what I'm going to do is take out the thermometer, give it a quick wash, and then fill up this bucket with some acid, and we're going to acid the boil kettle. That's right. Then that's all ready then for the knockout from the mash tun into the boil kettle, and uh, our brood will proceed nicely. I guess is the word I'm looking for. I'm making it up here. So this is that moment on a brew day when, well you get time to, I don't know, post on Instagram, check your Facebook messages, look at the Twitter feed. It's basically the time where we're transferring and chilling from the boil kettle into the fermenter and well, everything else has been done. So for this 40 minutes, I generally tend to sit down and do a little, do a bit of cleaning maybe, a bit of housekeeping. But it's all been done today. I'm leaving this out because I'm gonna use that on that tank tomorrow, so there's no point packing all that lot away. Don't need to dry up anything. You know, I'm done. I'm just waiting, waiting for 40 minutes. But then after that time is up, and when that transfer is completed, you have to spring back into action because it's time to disconnect the pipework, take a gravity reading, add the yeast, add any other additives that are going into the beer, strip down the boil kettle, rinse it out, add the caustic, clean the kettle, and then set everything back up for tomorrow. So it's a shame I can't do that in the meantime. But yeah, I have to hang around for 40 minutes and then mad crazy work for half an hour before I can get off. So that's what the life of a brewer is like. You spend most of your time waiting for things to heat up and then waiting for things to cool down again. <laughs>